Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Contest of Speed. Tonight is, of course, Tuesday, and that means EU3 is on display. Season 10, and this is round two. Today we take two, the lovely, lovely circuit. And it is, of course, Bahrain. With me today, of course, your, your very own Curity Marina Rat and Shane. Kosh Shane with me in the party. Hello, Shane. Good evening, that's me, and again, welcome everyone to the deserts of Bahrain, where we're going to have this beautiful Grand Prix, hopefully clean, more clean than yesterday, and a good entertaining one, uh, that's all we ask for. Absolutely, absolutely, if it's entertaining, Enjoy that's a great all we race, can do. Right? Absolutely. Exactly, we just want to be entertained, we want to love watching. We As, want uh, a good show, that's what we want. Exactly, that's exactly what I meant. And I'm gonna, of course, watch Sygate go for the first lap around as yep. he is in the lead. The first one, first one out. out. Yes. <coughs> Which means he will be the first one to set a lap. That's I usually how it goes. That's how it goes. Unless, of course, he does invalidate. Invalidations. We move to the second person. Which are always fun. Of course, of course. We're just making it around sector two now. Coming up to a very, very notorious corner to spin it. Do not touch that curb. <coughs> Whatever you do, do not touch the curb. Warming Save the tires. On turn 10. Entry on turn 10, do not touch the curb. Absolutely. So, starting his lap. Fourth gear throughout the whole sequence of the last two corners. Now, DRS activated. This is a long straight with a hard braking zone towards the end into turn one. He goes now. There is the detection zone. He does take a little bit of the curb. That's pretty nice. Does not take the inside curb, which is also nice. Turn two and turn three. Very, very flowing full throttle corners. Now onto the second straight. Second DRS straight. This is it's a bit shorter into the long Le uh, right hander of turn four opening up now into turn five turn six now sector one is complete sector two has started down into now it's going to be turn eight downhill braking zone to the right cambered corner it's very difficult easy to lock your tires into turn nine and this is even more difficult if you do touch this curb uh with your with more than just a tire oh, then that is the inside curb yeah yeah, inside curb is all right, but the outside yeah, curb there will make you jump. Into turn 11, also a nice long left ha right, left hander there. It's long sweeping corners throughout Bahrain. It's very beautiful to see. Ending his sector 2 now, coming up to turn 13. And then you need a very good exit here. He did seem to get that. Now, it's the third straight. It's not a DRS straight, though. Oh, sorry, fourth straight. The other one was the DRS straight. Down into the penultimate corner, into the last corner, turn 15. Two finishes lap, DRS activated, and it is going to be a 129.4 for Sygate. Not a bad lap. Definitely not. 29.4. That's yeah, decent, definitely. but I think it will be beaten later on in the session. Probably will. There we go. Already Steve there. Already does. Not, not by much, not by much. Only 14 tenths, if I'm not... Uh, 14 hundredths of a second. Yeah, and I'm going to watch Dan as he crosses the line now. It's going to be a 130.2. So, ultimately, that is last out of everyone currently. Steve, reserved for today. 29.4 as well. So, it's very close, actually. Top three right now. <coughs> we have a lot of drivers coming over the line. I can't really react too hard on it but we do have Dan next who comes to cross the line this could be a very decent lap it's not it is last just in front of his teammate who did have a screw up on his lap Cornish Mantis is next there's a yellow flag and that is a Ferrari that's the Ferrari of two spell, who's gone round 
Cornish man. Just dip, put it into P4 there with a 29.7 there for the Alpha Tauris. Footy next. And he sets provisional pole position. Not too bad. Not too bad. Mercedes 1 2 so far. It's yes. looking good. Very last season like. I mean, let's be honest. If Steve's up there, I could have been up there as well. Steve is, is doing good though. He is reserving. He is, he is. Yeah, he is reserving, but he's really doing good in E4 as well. Last week and this week. Um, compared to last season, uh, especially. Because uh, last season, on well, on last year's game, he's uh, he's gotten a lot faster compared to uh, 2021. Yeah, and accounts for a lot of drivers, Saigate included. There, he's gotten a lot faster than yeah. um, than he was last season. Of course, season Sne nine. Sneaky Tom being at the top uh, at the top of the timing sheets in EU3. And he's also doing a good job. There you go, Z like. I'm just going to call him Laik, if he doesn't mind that. Sets provisional pole just over footy there with 22 thousandths of a second. And the Mercedes looking like he is on low fuel there. Absolutely just making his way into the pits. DRS activated, of course. Into neutral for the extra rotation. And now we've hit a bit of a wall. A lot of drivers in the pits waiting to make their second runs. However, there are still people out. Two spell is not going to do a lap here. Don't think. R oh, what well, rapid is? There we go. Of one twenty nine point one. That's immediately the fastest time by almost two tenths there. Very decent is lap it? there. One and a half tenths there from rapid to Z like. He's setting pole in U three. Oh no, he's U three. I was about to say that he's reserving, but he's not. As you can see now, it's only it's only really split by a second so far. It's it's not very it's not it's close. It's, it's very close. close. It is very very close. <clears throat> Hopefully, it will be as close during the race itself because that's gonna bring us some great entertainment, as we said before. That is in fact what we want to see. <clears throat> oh, and that Rapids doing some donuts at turn ten. Rapid is doing donuts. That might get him disqualified. Uh, I think it was intentional. I think it wasn't intentional. Oh, okay. Probably spun it <clears> on the <throat> curb and then just got it back around, but it looked like a donut. Yeah. And let's look at the comment section. We have Hilly and Kit Pedal Mobile here. and Cornish Kitten's Lad. Kitten's always here. Kitten's always here. Kitten's always. Yeah. Got Kitten time. and Hilly are always here. <clears throat> of course, it's just after. Well, Kitten's just gone home from work, I'm guessing. Yeah. Still waiting for Kitten to play Valorant, but... <laughs> Can't expect too much uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> no, that joke's gonna keep on going. That's the running joke here. I'm gonna oh. say, I'm gonna ask him every time. Evening, Deathstorm. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, evening, everyone. Welcome to... The deserts of Bahrain today, well, this week. Saige now two tenths uh, up. What can this do? This looks like a decent, decent run there from Saige. Under seconds. a tenth. Only second. Yeah, it was very decent there. D dropped two tenths off his previous time there. And now he's close enough that, well, Rapid's just within reach here. Yeah. Uh, I, uh,. I got Racer and BMB Jordi who are just entered the third sector and they are gonna finish their lap coming around the penultimate corner. 
as we make our way down this oh. trade, Dan has been disqualified Dan has for been disqualified. part in a dangerous location. Yeah, Dan, well, the, the other Dan now is coming across the line. He's two tenths up. What can this bring him? And it's just going to be P12. It's P10 for Racer, P12 for... Oh, wow. P oh, he already goes up to pole. 29 flat. Now, this is a decent time for Geordie. Very decent, quicker than one and a half tenths there. Yeah, that's, <coughs> a, that's a good lap. That's a great lap. We're going to follow Stumpy. Stumpy has a reputation of setting quick times and qualifying. So let's see what he can bring us here. <coughs> oh! Oh, he spun it. And there goes He's Real gone. Live. 28-9. <laughs> it's right just getting faster. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It is getting faster. The first person into the 28 mm. as well. Yeah, hopefully it's not the last either. I mean, it would be good for him if he's the only one, but I really doubt he will be. Yeah, I mean, it is a it is a good poll, <coughs> provisional poll time now, but Jordi is in fact just under a tenth behind. Yeah, it is. It is very close at the top. I know Rapid can put in the laps needed to get pole today. He looks fast, but the B&B &B boys <coughs> just a tad faster. Flat. I'm just yeah. going to clear my throat quickly. BNB is going to be very happy with that result so far. Well, I mean, the race hasn't been done. Well, the race is not hasn't started yet. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so we'll still have to see uh, what they gonna what they can do during the race, strategy wise as well, because stopping together is not the best idea. Of course. Now we're Unless reaching the last five minutes, just over already? five and a half minutes. Yeah, last five minutes oh, wow. of this qualifying session. It's gone very quickly. Yeah, it has been uh, a quick one. It's still 18 minutes, right? It is still 18 minutes, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, the fastest qualifying I've ever been a witness of, to be honest. It feels like it. There you go, Steve. Up into P2 and Z. Like has actually set a really, really good time. I'm going to go yeah, back to yeah, fastest yeah. lap. 28.6, 28.8, 28.9. Only three people into the 28 so far, the top three of this qualifying session. But people are still finishing their laps. Stumpy now on a second attempt. Will he, he do it this time? No, he's invalidated. Invalidated, yeah. yeah he's <coughs> diving into the pits as well. Yeah, he needs to get this last run together currently it's looking like he's going to start absolute bottom just in front of dan who had been disqualified <coughs> um let's be honest starting at the back isn't that bad if you know you got the pace and if you know how to oh, drive i'm just going to stop so you fine. real quick because rapid here is on a rapid lap he's four oh. tenths up now here he comes it's going to be close it's going to be very close he and there it. it is he gets it he gets it He's living up to the name right here. Absolutely not rapid there, but he does go <laughs> very, very quick. A 28.5 just to set the mood there. Yeah, 28.5. Can anyone do better? We have Tichy coming up, I think. Uh, whoever that McLaren is. Tichy is and this time. the Wizards just came around the final corner and he's going to send it in the pit lane. Um, there's a Mercedes, that's Steve, I think he's on his in-lap. Yeah, definitely heading so in there. Was so <coughs> stitchy. McLaren might also be on the in-lap. Yes, he is. Saigate has started his lap, though. Saigate has started his lap. He's P6 currently. He's, he, well, he's, he's just <coughs> rounding up the first sector, going into the middle sector, which I'll prefer, uh, which is my preference. I love the middle sector here. Uh, some That's nice corners put together. <laughs> Absolutely, he does. He does do it quite smoothly here, Sigate. You cannot yeah. lie. <clears throat> you can run a little bit on the outside curve, just not too much. Don't get called on it. Absolutely. If you get called on the outside curve, you will be sent. Yeah, you know, like the car will just go forward. You can't you'll, stop it. You'll be sent the other way. Yeah, you'll be sent deep, very deep. <clears throat> but 
he made it through. He hasn't spun here, so now looks it's like very he's unlikely down on his he screws time, it up. Yeah, it looks like he's down on his time. It's not going to be uh, any better for Sygate. This is probably... Unfortunate. Well, unless he goes into the pits and is absolutely rapid on his outlap, it's not going to really mean much, this. <coughs> <coughs> Could have chosen to go around for another lap there. Um, just to... Well, just yeah. to to to, to make mean, sure you get that last run in there. I wanted to say with a bit of luck if he comes out uh, on time, but I really doubt it. That's going to be a very hard task to do, especially now that he's getting held up in the pit lane. Yeah, that's not going to help his course. Nope. So P6 it is, unless someone goes above. We do have some people as in the names of Footy. Yeah, here he in comes. His Mercedes Six up. P8. Six tenths, that's gonna do him a great job. Puts him up into third, 28 7 flat. Just in front of his teammate. Yes, exactly. But Steve being on an outlap, he's gonna try and improve. Here Jordy. is Jordi, he looks quick now. What's this gonna bring? Only it's gonna one be a 28 here? Yeah? Yes, Only it is. Tenth, splits the Mercs. He splits the Mercs, but Steve is still yet to cross the line. To start his lap, of course. B &B uh, real as life. well, yeah, he had to start his lap as well. The wizard also in uh, EU3, haven't seen his name. Ooh, decent lap no, there I didn't real see life. him yet. Real life, oh, third place. That's not bad, but the top two are out for another one. They're on their outlap. Sneaky Tom up into P8. The Wizard P11 now just outside the top 10. Not that it matters anymore because you can start on whatever tie you want, even inside the top 10. So Ooh, this looks quick from Stumpy here. This looks very quick. He's the up on his time. Finishes his lap and he puts it up to P7, 29 flat. Who are we looking at, Stumpy? Stumpy here coming across the line. He hasn't set a valid or a good time yet. Here it comes. It's going to be P7, a 29 flat. Dan crosses the line now. P17 to P12 with 29.3. And Rapid starts his last lap. He and Red Mask as well. The last one to do so. Oh, Red Mask also. And then I think everyone's on the lap now. So I'm seeing a Williams. That's uh, probably an in lap. Alpha Tari's. Cornish Mantis. Nope. They are all spinning right now. They're all spinning right there. Final corner being a menace right now. The wizard, next one to cross the line, just puts it down into the final corner. Here it comes. Doesn't spin it. Crosses oh. the line to set a 29-1. Puts him up into ninth, right behind the wizard. <coughs> Sneaky Tom. I expect. I have high expectations from a man. Going but into he's the pits. Going into the pits. Yes. And that's Zlaik. He's not going to improve. Nope, there's an Alphatari that might be Titchy who's Ooh, coming up. Oh, and Titchy spins it where everyone else is spinning it. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, has collected another driver here. Turn 15. But race <laughs> is not one of them. Here it comes. Up into P9. P9. Right behind the wizard. NJM, P11. Oh damn, they're actually right in the chair. <laughs> Here comes not funny. rapid. Here comes not oh, he's going into the pits. No? Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Wait. Oh, oh. Yes, he no Stumpy's he Stumpy is in the pits, Steve. He's coming. He's coming through. Coming in hot. Nah, this is not last gonna be anything one. from Steve. He's just nah, gonna he's head into in the, the pits there. And yeah. he's the last one, so we'll be waiting for Steve and then we can get on with the race. Yeah. So Quick fact pointed out by the chat. I haven't noticed it myself yet, but both wizards are in the same tier. Pretty funny. Absolutely. Matty Robo reacts with mind blown. I'm just gonna say one, uh, a few facts about the uh, well, the track, isn't it? Um, oh, facts are always interesting. Ground was broken for the Bahrain International Circuit in December 2002. Like the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi, the developers had a blank sandy canvas to work with and with that fashion the technical 5.4km track designed by Herman Tilke. 
2004, when the drivers first lined up under an unusually cloudy sky for the inaugural Bahrain Grand Prix, the race was dominated, like many in 2004, by the two Ferraris, Michael Schumacher winning with Barrichello in second. Crowds were also treated to a fantastic dogfight between the Jaguar of Mark Webber and the Renault of Fernando Alonso. Let's quickly run you through. Rapid starts P1, Cuts. light P2, real life P3, footy P4, Jordi P5, Steve P6, Stumpy P7, Wizard P8, Racer P9, Two Spell P10, Red Mask P11, NJM P12, Sygate P13, Sneaky Tom P14, Cornish Mantis P15, X427 in P16, Titchy in P17, Pip Piper Tech in P18, and Dan, who was disqualified, starting last. There you go. Whew. Honestly, Andy, I cannot agree more. EU3 looks super competitive, as I've seen from this qualifying. I wasn't here last week, unfortunately, but I should be here for the rest of the season, and I can't wait to see what this division brings us this year. So, Steve, I want to give you the honours of taking uh, the lights out, as I took it last week. So, Oh, that's going to be a fun one. And Blaze. There's no formation lap because it's still glitched. So. Yeah, we have Blaze in the comments. Hello, Blaze. He's a retired commentator in EU2. My good old buddy. We're, we're doing great. I hope I speak for the both of us if I say we're doing great. Absolutely. There we go. I hope you're having a fine evening as well. We're just here enjoying an EU3 race and it looks really competitive. Looks like we're going to start here. Ready to watch it, you for a quality race. <laughs> and it's five red lights. Oh, and away we go, there we go. Reaction time's not that fast. There we go. So we have a lot of people here. Oh, I see, am I seeing five white? Damn. Someone's getting spun there, it's a Aston Martin, and he's getting spun again, it's Rapid. Rapid, from starting on pole, is now all the way into P19. That's not where you want to be. But the race isn't won on the first lap, so he still has a chance. There's been a lot of uh, position changes, Racer getting past the Wizard, some position changes further back. We have also... We also have uh, different strategies here, as we can see. We have a lot of people opting for the mediums. Red Mask and Cornish Mantis are on the reverse strategy. And then we have Dan, Tichy, uh, Two Spell Wizard and Stumpy all on softs. Now that was actually a really good start to watch there. Some unlock there for not rapid. Sadly, he's now down in P19. Oh, it's not Tichy down the inside of Racer in turn 11. That's a beautiful move. Racer's going wide now. That's going to allow Red Mask not to get past, but to get up the back. And he's go oh, he's going to put the car alongside. Ah, he doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have the pace on the hard tires. And now he's getting overtaken by Pipe Tech. There you go, Red Mask down in P15. After trying his overtake on Racer, did not work out. Footy though, and Laik fighting for P1. I just about made it there. Laik's just going to stay in front of Footy. Footy though, still there on the, well, on the outside. On the inside there, what a beautiful attempt there. Is it going to work out for Footy? It looks like it hasn't. Sadly. Sneaky Tom just lost two positions on the straight up to turn four. Uh, must have, uh, he must have got it all wrong going through turn three because I don't see why you'd lose positions in the straight otherwise. Maybe the setup oh, here. Oh, someone spun. It's Steve. Oh, no, it's not. Steve and NJM had a little... A little bit of a scrap there. Coming together and NGM hit the back of Steve again and now he's sent wide. Mm. Loses another position to Tichy. There we go. Blaze in with the predictions. Real life Wizard and Wizard. Both Wizards up on the podium. That would be fun. Would you want to give your Hilly, prediction? Hilly said Rapid, Yordi, Tom. I don't know. Rapid's down at the back. He still has a chance. I'd say... Uh, 
Honestly, it's a very hard call because it's so competitive. Um, I don't know. I wasn't here last week, so I, I don't really have anything to to base my uh, my claims on. But um, I think the B and B boys are gonna be up there. I don't know if they'll be on the podium. I think one of them will be, but um, they're gonna both be up there somewhere. And then uh, we have some other fast drivers. I. I don't know, I want Steve to be up there so bad, but... Oh, and here comes Footy now for the second Stop. time. Is he going to make it now? He's going to break. Down the inside. Break himself down the inside, and it looks good. It Light pushes cannot him wide, do anything, but, but he, he pushes him he wide. Here space. And Light has gotten it back, but there... Oh, oh no. no! And there we go, a little goes coming on, together. Goes on the curb there, and of course, and you Futi's cannot round. go on any raised curbs there. Footy's going to lose a lot of positions here, and Laik now, with no one really there to fight him, he's going to just, well, he's just going to run while he can. Well, the guy's behind, still inside the DRS window, so he's not out of it yet. He's not out of the woods. They're closing in, but it's obviously not going to be enough. They were too far behind. Side so um, spinning. Another one. The traction on this game isn't really uh, isn't really great. Let's be honest. Oh, and Cornish Mantis with a little Cornish spin. Cornish Mantis not also spins it. damage on his front wing, though. I'm happy to see that we haven't gotten a safety car. Obviously, uh, because I'm it, always it, grateful if there's no safety cars, but. Don't be sad, we will have one this race. Probably, okay. we'll always have one. Yeah, let's 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 see it through though. Let's hope for it not let's to guess. happen. As I am. Let's see, Stumpy is closing in on real life, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. No, it's not. Oh, look at Yordi, so close up the back of uh, Zet Leak. I'm gonna confirm here that Footy and Sygate both have wing damage, while Pipe Tech. That's a bit of body damage there. 33% to the diffuser, 16% oh. to the floor, and 5% to the side. But that's going to really, really slow him down. That's where every, well, yeah. that's where everything comes from, really. Exactly. Well, you know, 60% is a bit, is a lot. But yesterday, I turned out to have damage. Oh, look at that. Zed Leak and Yordia going at it. Lee goes for the inside. He'll be on the outside for turn 9 and 10. But he has to give up the position already. The traction of Yordi was just too much and I realized going a bit wider and there we go now it's the other way around Zet Leak has the DRS this is a small DRS straight so there's just not much he can do here but maybe he can rectify himself on the start finish straight as Red Mask got past Pipe Tech Pipe Tech must have spun it side gate also got a position Sci Pipe Tech spinning there losing a few positions it's very difficult to keep it on track with the damage he has received. It sadly. definitely is, definitely is. Also, uh, yeah, as we mentioned before, traction on this game, uh, it's a bit uh, busted. Yeah, it can and be now, very difficult. Yeah, now we get back on the main straight. Eight tenths for Zed League. Eight tenths, that's not, that's a lot. And look at this. Real life, he wants it. Sends the dummy, but he gets defended by Zed League. Now he has to go for the outside. He's not going to do it. Can he get the switch back around? No. Switch back into turn 3 or turn 2. This is turn 3. There Can't do anything there. There he comes. But look at that. Zed League doesn't have the sleep shoe anymore. We almost went 3 wide with Stompy, but Stompy chooses better off it and stays behind. Oh! He doesn't want to get that much. Oh! There we go. Real life's off. Try Spins it all on his own. Trying the switch back there did not work out. It's a very difficult corner for traction there, so gonna have to be very very cautious on the throttle he wasn't so that's him down into p11 yeah. you have to be very cautious on the throttle on this game and now he's gonna get footy down the inside at turn eight footy who spanned just a few laps ago footy now oh, fighting look at this side by side oh. into turn nine into turn ten footy still there he's still there he wants it he's gonna go for the outside around turn 11 and he's got it. And there we go. Real life has to concede. A great, a great Beautiful move. move. Someone's oh, round. That's NJM. Correct. correct NJM. NJM's right. round at turn 11. It's now down into P15. Yeah. Not the start honestly. anyone wanted, especially not the start the rapid wanted. Let's look at the. Uh, well, let's look at the position change. Dan there, the big, big winner with 10 positions. Titchy, very close behind with 9. 
So a very, very good start for them too. Yeah, but they're on the soft, so they're going to have to pit very shortly. Um, we can actually yeah, see the, the, the damage on the tyres. It, 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 it's not even, like, it's, it's more than the mediums, but it's not that much more. It's, it's not bad, but, I mean, they'll have they'll definitely have to come early. And there he goes. He's going to get the wizard here, and now he's back up there, overtaking the not-teammate wizard. And... Well, low on ERS pretty much for everyone here. Yeah, a lot of people low on ERS. It's not It's not good to be low on ERS on the start. But of course it is what it is and there is NJM in AI mode. Steve just got really Actually close cannot. up the back of the uh, baby wizard and now he's gonna send it down the inside of turn eleven. Can he get it done? He will have the outside for turn 12, but look at that. He gets it already. The inside line on turn 11 proves to be too powerful. Very good move. And, and here, the comes has to concede. here comes Tichi. Here comes Tichi. Yeah, Tichi wants it. Two tens now. He doesn't have the DRS here. And look at that, baby, the, the wizard. He's uh, burning some ERS. He has to. To save his, his, his position there. Dan just about... Well, no, Steve, just inside the DRS, so he's going to be able to yeah. defend, is he? Or is the wizard going to go for the move the on the inside? Gonna send it. He's going to send it. There he goes. And Steve holds it around the outside, but oh, he gets he gets it all wrong on the oh, traction. And oh, no, no. It's all gone wrong for the Mercedes. Two spins. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. That looks so good in qualifying, and it's just not, yeah. it's just not converted into the race, has it? Stompy into P3. Very good start from him as well. Uh, wow. Gaining a few was, positions. Uh, so, and that really, that's annoying. He was doing so good, but he gets it all wrong on traction coming out of turn one, and then he just loses another position. Yeah, now he real tries life. tries to hold on, but... Real life is quite close to Footy now. Footy might be losing another position. Yeah, but Footy's on the back of Sneaky Tom as well, so he will have the DRS in the slipstream. He's a little bit late with opening the DRS, is Footy. Um, yeah. Obviously, this uh, this middle DRS straight here, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, from turn 10 to 11. It's a short one, so not much there. Chances are very slim, unless you burn some ERS, which... I mean, depending on how much you have, isn't a good option. Well, Sneaky Tom is pretty much the only one above 20, 25% here. Real life is low as well. Footy, though. Get all. Oh, look at Footy get all over the curb. And Dan and is in the pit. The first of the soft runners is in. Dan mm -hmm. is in on the pit. Dan, Danny, whatever you want to call him. X427, if you will. Mind. X427, yeah. <laughs> can do that as well he's gone for the hearts from lap 8 to 29 it it works it, it, works. it will be possible 21 laps on the hard tire is definitely possible you have to be careful though coming out the pits oh look at that tires footy still... down the inside no real life down the outside of footy and this is where both of them oh look at that look footy is now just gonna be a sitting duck for real life because he lost the toe of sneaky tom so next lap uh, next lap we might see real life into p8 might be now already he's he's got the drs he's got an he's ERS got advantage. The slipstream. there's a yellow flag and that's that ngm NJM. he's it, it, it's putting a tornado and that's a safety VSC, car VSC, no vsc vsc yeah. there we go now is the time VSC for stumpy to pit stumpy to spell and titch he can both go in the pits now and lose less time than it helps footy footy really slowing down so hard has to put real life on the brakes as hard as he can and jm crashing out let's see where he's crashed it looks like yeah just coming out yeah he's, he's touched the curb out of turn seven right yeah he's touched the curb on the on the exit mm -hmm. there and then it's just spanned the car yeah. it has it has oh, unfortunate it for him but dnfs were gonna fall at some point safety car he's Oh, are and we the gonna medium. Go again? Yes, we are. Medium oh, tires on the pits the as top well. Top four is all in the pits. Interesting. Medium They're not going to gain anything and here. Soft runners. 
they're not really going to gain anything from it though because the, no. the, the BSC has already been uh, deactivated. But look at that, Footy is back in the DRS of Sneaky Tom, so this VSC really helped him, he, now he can keep his position. Um, yeah, very well played. Helped a lot on the ERS Definitely. as well, he's going to have a bit more ERS. Titchy getting very close to the wizard, Titchy didn't pit, in fact kept going on the, on, on the soft tyre. Interesting decision there from Titchy, I mean they didn't really gain anything from it, but of course it's nice staying with the, with the pack. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, always is. Obviously, uh, by now, wrap it up in P9, not doing bad. Like, to be honest, if you want to go for the championship, you should just accept any points you can get, even if it's only one point in P10. A point is a point. Absolutely. And in fact, Footy does have 5% wing damage, but he <laughs> seems to be fighting and, and coping with it really well. It's hard to feel the wing damage uh, when it's that low. Um, you, you'll still be able to, to turn the car, you'll still be able to drive, um, but and you'll still be able to overtake and gain on Sneaky Tom as it looks like he's going to have a great uh, chance going down into turn one now. Uh, Ferrari's just switched places down into P15 and 16. Titchy keeps going again. He's hoping for a safety car. He's on 57%. Oh, look at Fruity, he's burning the ERS. He wants it. And he's going to get it now because look at that Sneaky Tom doesn't have a DRS. But look at the straight line speed of that Red Bull. He only gets him near the end of the straight and he's still there. He's not going like to fight it though. Front wing is still there. He wants to go for the switchback but that's, that move is really hard to do it at that place. Now Sneaky Tom does have the DRS. He's going to come back on him. Uh, footy though got the inside late yeah, breaking. He's got the inside for turn four. Careful, now, careful down on the to throttle. Turn five. Sneaky Tom has the inside here. He's oh, made the move. Oh, he wants it. He sends it, but nah, not not far enough. It's a half-hearted move, and it's never gonna work. That was a very, very Ferrari thing to do, uh, if you yeah. remember, back in round <laughs> one of the real life uh, for uh, Bahrain Grand Prix, where they kept swapping positions. Leclerc losing the position on the straight on the first straight, and then gaining it straight back on the second straight. Yeah. I don't know, but people, I have the latest news for you. Just ma just managed to see it in chat, but Ma Matty Robo has apparently fallen off and can't do English anymore. Ah, pretty f sounded pretty funny to me. But here we go, three car battle for P3. Everybody wants to be on the podium. Everybody wants to do an interview. All fun. Of course, there's nothing better than doing an interview with me and you in the box. Of course, only I don't like doing interviews because, I don't know, it feels so awkward, but yet I still do it. There you and go. as we see real life get past Footy, very nice move, and now real life is definitely not going to stop there. He's going to get past Sneaky Tom because Sneaky Tom doesn't have the DRS. The move that Footy wasn't able to pull off is... It's real life's chance now. Can he do it differently? Titchy's losing a lot of time. I definitely suggest him to go to the pitch. He's losing five tenths already oh, just in the first sector. Softs? He's still on his softs. And they Maybe are closing up into the 70% mark. I bet, you he's, I bet you he's trying to do a soft medium. He's trying it. He's well, currently it's not softs. going too badly. A safety car would really help him though. A safety car would really help him. Honestly, always pit during the safety car. If you can, of course, if, if it makes sense. If you can, yeah, true. And These I'll guys, they pit it during the VSC, FVSC, but uh, it was a little bit late, a tad late. But of course, all the cars ahead of them still are yet to make their pit stops. So Jordi gets past Dan. So that's the first of the people who've pitted, overtaking a people, uh, uh, overtaking a driver who hasn't pitted yet. Yeah, and he's in, a, he's in a net lead here, Geordie. When the other drivers go into the pits, they're going to come out behind Geordie. And, well, like, and per perhaps also Stumpy and, and Dan. And, and there goes Titchy. He's in the pits now. Finally, after what feels like an age, uh, ages. I'm really curious. Is he going to put on the mediums? He does. He does put on the mediums. He does. He does. Uh, lap 12 to... 
29 at 17 laps, 6, 17 laps, uh, probably, could be, I don't know. It's going to be difficult, but I suggest he's probably tested I it believe. out. Knows that him. it's going to work. If it does has, uh, work, it's going to be good. Real life has gotten past Sneaky Tom, and he's just set the purple first sector, so real life might be on one here, catching up to the wizard, which who's three seconds up the road. And he's still going now. 11 laps on those medium tires. They still look pretty decent. 45% for uh, for real life. Only 39 though for the wizard. So the wizard looks in, like he's in a very good position to just keep going. He's had no real... Well, he's, he doesn't have dirty air. He can take it easy. He's got three seconds behind him. He can, he can relax. Well... Relax and relax. You can relax to a, to a point. And he's definitely not relaxing enough. He's Look got at that. He's already under, out. Under twenty percent. already out of DRS for sneaky Tom. The wizard's got under twenty percent. So I don't really know why he's burning that ERS. He is in the lead by three seconds. So maybe he wants to save. maybe just wants to save. keep his lead or something. I don't know. Look at that footy pulls out. Move was never wrong. Too far back. I don't think Footy has the straight line speed to get it past Sneaky Tom, to be honest. Because even Sneaky Tom without the RS, and there we go, the first penalty of the race, of, well, uh, awarded to Red Mask. Yeah, and on the, uh, that looked like it was in turn two, just cutting the corner there, very easy to do. There's a fine line there uh, of how much you can cut it. You can cut it to an extent, but then it just becomes way too much. It is, it does. But, guys, what are we talking about in the chat? Come on. Like, yesterday, I get so much love from Matty and Dan when I'm driving and they're streaming. Now I'm, I'm, in the, and now I'm in their seat and you're still talking about me. What is this? Do you like me that much or what? As a footy... Oh, he stuck his nose down the inside of turn 11, but... Oh. He's still just right there. And yeah, just yeah, to yeah. let you know, Blaze, I will never wide. forget you. I will never forget you. He's still going, though. It's going very... Oh, he's super, super close. In the detection point, he's going to have the DRS. He's going to go for the move. Certainly going to go for the move here. He's got just a tad bit more ERS to play with. Um, and there we Sneaky, go. Sneaky Tom, Tom in the pits. Diving into the pits. Hard tyres for Sneaky Tom. And that is going to be hard to the end. Rapid does the same. Started first, went into last, and now onto the hard tyre. He's going to be very far down the order once again. P14, perhaps. It's Hitchy for the fastest lap of the race so far. 31.6. Not bad. Fresh mediums. Or a racing lap. Yeah, that's a decent time. Yeah, it is. Quality laps are faster, but of course, I mean, you have less fuel in the car. And Dan overtakes Sygate. Sygate looking like he's struggling after actually having a very, very... He's, he, he had very good pace in Australia, just not being able to convert it, really. You're already getting past the red mask. And it's already setting one Can second. Wow. Yeah. It's very, very quick for Jordi. Those hard tires have just come into fashion. Red 92 mask is losing a lot of time. It's just... Got the DRS just about. He's going to lose it though, and, and that means like can perhaps get past him. <coughs> Set League wants to get past uh, Red Mask as well. Obviously, Red Mask really improved on pace uh, compared to last year's game. He really improved on pace compared to last year's game. Um, he was a very slow driver last year, EU4. Now he's reserving an EU3 and he's not doing bad except for the time penalty that he just received. And we have Wizard, Real Life and Footy in the pits. Now where does Wizard come out? Steve up in P1. And Steve in P1 after he span. And Pipe Tech in P2 with a lot of body damage. Steve's doing a, a great recovery dive. Wizard's going to come out right behind Dan. And he's going to have cold, hard tyres. And it's going to be very difficult to get them just warmed up. He's going to have to take it very cautiously. He's 
Two seconds behind Dan now. The safety guy he wanted did not come out. Only problem, Steve and Pipe Tech still yet to pit. Stumpy five tenths behind Red Mask. Everybody wants to get past Red Mask here. Because obviously, I said he improved on pace, but the guys around him are still faster than he, than himself. Yeah, especially so. on those tyres. The tyres are going to yeah. have oh a yeah, big factor, a big effect well. on that one. He's, he's yet to pit 14 laps on the hard tyres versus 6 laps. It's yeah. a big difference between the tyres. It is a big difference, but I mean, honestly, even if he was on equal tyres, I think they'd still overtake him. Like, he improved on pace, but the... The EU3 guys are still like just, I don't know, they'd probably still be faster. Look at Stumpy closing in, 3 tenths now, we're up to 4 again, exit this corner. I'm going up to turn, I don't know how many turns Bahrain has. Turn oh, wait, 14 11, and 15. 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, sure. 15 turns in total now, Stumpy, oh, there we surely. Go, Stumpy. One tenth around the outside. He, he's gonna get it before the break. No, he's not. Side by side. Look at that. Oh, oh he really sets it so himself. wide. Overshot the corner. Let's two spell that, through as yes, well. Yes, that's just two positions lost right there. That's that. That's how you race, people. That's how you race. You force the other driver into making a mistake and you capitalize. No one has to get damage. A little bit of patience is all you need. And patience and wait for the right moment not rapid i think who span and he oh, has, has he yeah yeah he has span oh, unfortunate unfortunate He's looking really good starting for qualifying and then getting sacked all the way back steven pipe tech still haven't beaten them might try to do medium softs it's incredible. Try. It's incredible how this battle continues. It's sneaky Tom Footy and real life. They are still battling. Oh wow. They are still battling. And it now I mean now they're battling for points because two of three of the drivers in front have not pitted yet. And they'll need to pit. When they pit, they're gonna come out far behind. And Tichi now on the fresh mediums. He's two tens behind Red Mask. He's definitely going to get this position yes. on this straight right here. Red Mask, no DRS, Tichy, fresher tires, DRS. So, Red Mask, like, tell me, when are you going to pit? Here he comes, and he's making he it goes. very, very easy for him as Just well. goes around, and that's it. Almost looked like he got pitted by Red Mask, but just slots him behind. Yeah. Red mask I there. think it's time for you to get off those hards. Man, yeah, man. definitely. He's gonna try and go hard soft. Actually, I, I don't. Yeah, but I don't look at Steve and Pipe Tech. They're going medium soft. So like, why? Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's a difficult one to predict. You know, it's a difficult it is, one it to is. predict. I think. Does the safety car come out right now? He's gonna go yeah. on to softs, and he's gonna be Obviously. very very quick for five laps. I think I think everyone's gonna be on softs. Uh, if the same car comes out, so that would massively help Steve and Pipe Tech, Not because that means they're up. They'd be up, uh, up the field, and uh, right now, Footy Sneaky Tom in real life still battling very hard. It's a, it's a great battle between these guys, these three guys, and a three oh, second time penalty no. to Steve. That's not what you would like to see. Two spell Titchy and Stumpy also very close together. Two spell just three tenths behind. Can he proceed in to P5? And Jordy now just only two, just under two seconds behind the last two guys yet to pit. Red, Red Mask now finally. Dan, uh, Red Mask finally did pit. There we go. It's gonna drop him a lot of positions, it's gonna come out P14, I think, maybe even 15. But, I mean, he has to pit at some point. He puts on the mediums instead of the softs, so he doesn't trust it. Oh my god, Sneaky Tom, what are you doing? Gets into the gravel trap at the turn 3. Went very wide there, gets it all wrong. He's that allows Footy to go Fussy through. has lost DRS real life now. 
He's still within DRS of Footy, so. <clears throat> there you go, too, back in the DRS. Too much. Ah, uh, he's outside the DRS now. But he doesn't have any pressure from behind, so. Should be doing good. And go. The wizard is within DRS of Stumpy, but nine tenths is a little bit well, eight tenths a little bit much. But he got stick. Yeah, uh, he got Tichi behind him. Teammate of Stumpy is in that Alfa Romeo sandwich. Yeah. Who too also so has DRS to be honest? Well, he just dropped out of the DRS now. One point two tenths. I've got to say, it's a it's a cost classic. From P5 down to PH, Stumpy, Wizard, Titchy, and X427, also known as Dan. Very good to see. I know there it is. Go. Red Mask gets past Rapid. Rapid has Rapid spun, spun in at 11. Rapid it's spun in at turn 11. Not yeah, it's not, it's not his race. Maybe the, the traction's getting to him. I tried out his setup, and uh, it's really it, it's loose sometimes. It, it really is. So yeah. I could understand that he uh, is not doing too well on traction, as uh, Pipe Tech and Steve are now getting are now starting to uh, drop back because look at that, Jordi is on the back of them on their ten lap old hearts. But we're lap nineteen now. When are you going to pit? Like, okay. Also, how long do softs last? Like, is ten laps too much or? Ten laps is just do well. Ten laps is very doable on on low fuel. The thing is, though, Steve and Piper Tech both are in in the. Well, Steve is definitely he's in the uh, puncture territory. Oh, Pipe safety car, maybe it. I don't know. Dan spun it, but he hasn't no crashed damage. it. No damage. Oh, honestly, no safety car yet. I'm really surprised. Like now, Jordy, 54% ERS. He's been saving. And <laughs> Pipe Tech is on 2%. Yeah, very, very routine here from Steve's Jordy. Steve's still on 40. Steve's on 40%, so Steve's looking good. And look at that, Pipe there Tech is go. going in here. Steve's going to carry on for another one. Surely, though, Jordy's going to be in P1 after the second straight. Now, oh, is he going to go for it? No, he's going to stick it behind. Take your time. And then he's going to get it done here. Pipe Tech on softs. Steve, surely he's going to come on softs as well. Jordy, can he get the move done here? No. He's going to have to stay behind Steve. <clears throat> well, Steve must pit this lap, right? To cover up the undercut for Pipe Tech, which most likely he will uh, end up behind Pipe Tech. Yeah, but I'd, the thing, the thing is, the thing is, though, it, it's not going to bring him points. Uh, being in front of Pipe Tech, I know, I know it's a soft. No, look, no, look at where Pipe Tech is. He's in P13. Okay, four and a half seconds behind Racer. So getting points might be a hard task here. Seven seconds behind any points. Uh, eight, nine, ten seconds behind any any good real, real points here. Footy and P10 though. Last yeah. point grabber. And Jordy, and he's waiting and waiting and waiting. Steve. Oh, big oh, mistake Steve there from Steve. Steve gets it all wrong. Steve, this <clears> is the time where you be, you can see and feel that the tires are not great anymore. Like, you got to get off the percent where You got to get off these mediums right now. These mediums are not doing you any good and look at this BMW Yordi. He's he's not pushing the ERS. He's just sticking behind. He knows Steve has to pit at some point and if he if he doesn't has to be now. Has to be now. He's got If he he's, no, he's, yeah, there he, he is. Goes. There he goes. So Jordy also, back if in P1. Hasn't, yeah. <clears throat> also, if if Steve wouldn't pit, then he'd just get it on the straight line. Like, Steve's tires are cooked. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, fresh hearts? Interesting. What? I've got to say, interesting. No, sure. Surely that was not what he meant to do. He had a miss of the strategy or that mm. weird glitches in the game from last year that where you... You like you change your tires, but it still gives you the other one, which yeah. really is really annoying. I had it a couple of times last year in the league races. Um, I hated it. There you go. Pipe tech comes out just in front of Steve. Fruity, that's a yellow flag. Real life, real life, spun it. B and B real life has spun his car. Doesn't look and like damage. Racers also <clears> gonna <throat> go past, so he gets one point. Nineteen lap old hearts. He pit it on lap one or lap two. Absolutely incredible. What, what is this man on? Like 67% tire wear. That's what he's on, and he's going to be in puncture territory <laughs> come the end of this race.
going to get very, very close for Racer. Though he is in the points for now. Real life losing out <coughs> uh, because of a spin there. <coughs> Do we have any interesting battles on track? I don't know. Right? There's a three-way... It's, it's even dealt train. now, but the wizard is getting close to Dan. Dan has no ERS left. And the wizard, oh, wow. well, surely he's just going to grab the position. He's got Look at Dan, look at where he is. Just no one in front of him. So there he doesn't go. have Sleep Stream or the ERS. There you go. Surely he's the wizard get it is here. coming for it with that straight line speed of that Red Bull. He. Ooh, Dan is not giving up, but he Ooh. sends it wide, and so has the wizard. They both send it wide, and then gets a little love tap from behind. We all love each other here <coughs> in the Contest of Speed community. Everyone Tichin loves each other. Are very close. Looks like Dan had a, had a mistake somewhere because he was following that group of uh, Alfa Romeos and his teammate Two Spell Wizard. Uh, there, and looks like he's he's just lost it. I think. I think the right word is chasing the group. I don't think he was within the DRS or anything. But he was behind it. But look at this footy. This uh, turn one incident allowed footy to come back. And it's now a three-way battle for P6. <laughs> Obviously, Dan being on old hearts, 14 lap olds. Then Wizard and footy, 7 lap old hearts. I think Tichy, though. Tichy might get the P4. That he wants uh, medium tyres versus 13 lap old hards it's it's a pretty decent pretty even battle as well i think they're on the same amount of wear just about maybe titchy has a little bit more he's just behind him might get a move done here has he got the right exit no he hasn't it's going to be difficult to get the move but of course two spell does not have the drs and titchy can just burn he does not he's going to wait it out and here we go, round two, the wizard versus Dan, goes for the outside again, this time he gets the move done before the breaking zone, Dan wanted to come back but mm, couldn't do anything there, and now Stumpy, Stumpy versus Lyak here, oh and they both oh, spin, they both spin, they both spin, and here comes two spell, Two spell and Titchy up into P2 and P3 respectively. Like has been doing amazingly. Him and Stumpy just coming together there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Dan okay, is there as well. Yeah, Dan gets a position as well. Footy gets the position on the wizard. Now they're fighting for oh, a no. podium. The footy is down the inside. He's going to have the outside for turn 9 and 10. And he has to concede it already. Um... Zetlik not not lost that much. He got he got spun, but not round. He was still in the right direction. Now he's only he's within DRS of Tichi, but 14 lap old hearts yeah. compared to 11 lap old mediums. And it's, it's going to be, be hard. a hard task. It's going to be hard because it's the third wheel, yeah. of course. Yeah, exactly. And Tichi also being on the med uh, Tichi also being in the slipstream and the DRS is not going to help Zetlik's case. Uh, Zetlik's case any. The, it's not going to do him any good. But here comes Tichy. Can he get the move done here? He's already been there behind two spell for a good few laps now. I think it's the time is about now. And here he comes. Tent. There he goes down the inside and he gets it done easy. Makes it look easy very, very easy. Zone. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Two, two spell. He's coming back. Has the outside for turn two. Inside for turn three. And look at that. He has the DRS as well going up to turn four. But Tichy, he's not giving up. He burned ERS just to get ahead. Two spell has back. another undercut. Another switchback. Inside for turn five. He takes it. He takes the spot like it's his. And then... Like is there as well. Tichy has to give him the room in the inside. And Zet like wants to get past around the outside. But he can't do that in turn eight. He has to sit behind for another lap. We're on lap 24 out of 29. Yeah. And there you go, like just pushing here. That could be a push to pass. Her. Gets it done now. It does not. Titchy's just amazing be racing going on. Is that like he wants to get past? You can see him swerving behind Stumpy, probably looking for his breaking zone. But nothing there yet. Footy so close on the back of the wizard, but he can't get past. Turn 12 now. Nothing there. 
We do have this battle for P3, three car battle for P3. Look at that, Stumpy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, Ditchy is just... Oh, just misses him, just misses him. That was very, very close. Like, just got the inside there. Titchy almost hit uh, Neil right in the back there. That could have been an absolute... Well, that could have been terrible. That could have been terrible. You want to see them. Ditchy now on the inside, and Zetleek's going to follow him, which means that uh, Deucepel can't do a switchback. If Zet leaks in the way, so he had the inside on turn two, the outside for turn three, and now he had to concede the position. Is he gonna try and send it down the inside? No, he's just gonna stay behind. So does Zet Leak. We, well, people Tichy, have patience over here. Titchy and two people spell. Titchy and two spell are absolutely roadblocking. And right, Footy down no. the inside of Dan. Dan wants the switch back, but he doesn't have the traction. And Footy up into P7. Well, uh, what I was Fresh saying was Titchy, Titchy and Two Spell just absolutely doing a brilliant job. Absolutely roadblocking like. He cannot get past them. It's not possible with those two fighting in front. There's no space for him to just put his nose uh, right through. However, Two Spell. Oh, oh, that's a tap there. Oh, look at that, Zet Leak on the inside of turn 11, now has the outside for turn 12, he wanted to try to switch back, but look, two spell wizard just completely parks it on the apex, and then we have Dan, I think it is, on turn 4, turn 5, spun it. Like it's has no ERS. Right now. Oh, and he just pushes him, he just pushes him, that's going to be a push to pass. Yeah, does but he, look at that, does he two get spells the move outside done? the DRS. But does he, he get the DRS move anymore. done? Does he get the move done here? It's going to be a push to pass. That can be reported. And there he comes on the inside. And he's already got the move done. And Two spell yet. though. He's still on the inside. Two spell. Oh. oh. He really had to. Yeah, that really. Uh, like getting a little bit impatient here. It's not. It's not suiting him too well. He's been absolutely calm the entire race. But now he's just getting impatient. Just Look at two spell. He has so much more ERS, through. so he's just f brute forcing it down the inside. Pushes that lead. Oh! Why push him off? The oh no! And that's no, that's no, that's no, not no, right. No, 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 that's no, not right. No, no. You can't do that. Neil's sir. gonna be. You, you, you can't do that. Okay. Yeah, Neil's gonna be absolutely fuming. Did not exactly. have to leave him that's, in space uh, at all. He's gonna lose that position to Stumpy. Stumpy's gonna be P3 after this race. I can promise you that. Oh, I have these beautiful helicopter shots from the wizard trying to get past Dan. Going up to turn nine and ten now, and look at that, the wizard round the outside. Beautiful, a bit of wheel banging, and he gets the position. He gets the position. Well, it just shows you because it. I, I did tell you. Lyak was looking like he's absolutely losing losing patience and there it yeah. just shows it just shows and it, it does not shoot yeah. him and Stumpy spins he's not out is he no he's not out he's not out but Zitli back up into the podium positions not for long though wizard 11 lap hold hards done an absolutely and brilliant job he's two tenths behind yeah, he's going to get the move done. And he has great straight line speed. He has immense he straight line speed. There he goes down the inside. Oh, and Zed Lee just concedes it. And he's now fighting Footy as well. Footy around the outside of turn two. Has the inside for turn three. And then he has the DRS from uh, the Wizard. Ah, nah, he still has to stay behind Zed Leak. And Footy, hopefully he can do something here like Leak. Has no right uh, wing end plate. So Footy's going to yeah, get the no, position he, as well. He did, did pick up damage. I saw the end plate flying off as when he hit the uh, two, two spell, spell wizard. Yeah. yeah. But look at that. They're now lo the battling with Footy. is losing them time on the wizard. So I think Zed Lee can kiss his podium goodbye. And look at that. He goes wide. Footy takes full advantage and gets the position done. And he does Even have the DRS. DRS. So... That's that's game over for Zed League. He'll have to be happy with P5 for the remaining two laps. Well, Zed League is not going to have P5 towards the end. Um, that's definitely going to be looked at by the stewards. I think yeah, he, was, obviously. Uh, he was mostly at fault. Of course, I'm just a commentator. So of course. I don't I mean, have the from, final say. From what I could see, two spell pushed him wide, pushed him off the track. And when he rejoined on the track... Two spell was still there and he just 
he just, yeah, just uh, came straight yeah, into he, him. He pitted him. He literally pitted two spot wizard coming back on the track, which I'd say is an unsafe rejoin. But two spell pushed him there. I don't know. I'm not a steward. Well, he was he was pushed outside, and of course the f his front like fr his front wing was behind two spell, almost pretty much behind yeah, almost, his side yeah, pod. Much, yeah. So so he definitely. Oh, did someone spun in turn one. I think that's pipe tech. Pipe tech, yeah. Oh. Pipe tech spun. Allow Steve to go up in P9. There's another spinner. There's another spinner. That's Cornish Mantis. And oh, sneaky Tom now getting past Zet League. Zet League's really losing time with his damage, and he he gave a little loft tap to the back of Sneaky Tom, got him back past turn seven. Now he's gonna there comes look real at life. real life. He just sends it down the inside. My man, <laughs> easy there, brother. Yeah, he's gonna go for it though. He's gonna he's gonna get it. To be fair, oh, like look at that. No, he does not. Oh, close racing's fun, but and that's that's not, that's oh, that's not what we want to see. That's out, gonna be that's gonna be like out of the yeah, league. He crashed we're, we're real not. life out on purpose. There, absolutely disgusting behavior. Well, absolutely disgusting purpose. behavior. That was definitely on purpose. Turned into him, and left the lobby. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. I know, I know who he is. I've seen him before. Absolutely disgusting. I, sh I think that league should be Dutch, if I'm not wrong. It should be from the Netherlands. Yeah, perhaps. I've seen him before. Well, it doesn't really matter anymore because he's not going to no, be in the league uh, after. He should get he should get thrown out. To be honest, if he does that. Goodbye, says Deathstorm. Absolutely. Well, that was that was just not right, was it? However, Tichi appears to be out of fuel, is what Matty Robo is saying. Matty, let's go look at Tichi then. Oh, and he is. He is. He oh, was hoping yeah, for a safety car. He is car. for a whole lap. A whole lap has to drive with no fuel. That's gonna. He's already dropped off the podium. He was in P2. He's now down in P6. He's gonna be P7 in a just a bit. Then P8. He's gonna drop outside the top 10. Stumpy retires in the pits. Surely. He thought it was over, got damaged towards the end. It was no more fun for him. That was... I cannot believe what we've just seen. Goodbye, like First I and last lucky race. I'm lucky my, eyes, I'm in lucky my eyes did not witness that. Yeah, right, why, of course, why real life? Fruitful's very own brother, that was... He, he, he didn't really do anything to deserve that. No, definitely not. They're just racing... Just racing. He gave, in he gave he gave Zet League a little loft up going into turn ten, which oh, offset the car. Oh, we've missed it. Sorry, but, it but Jordy matter. wins the Bahrain yes. Grand Prix round and the two. And footy. The Wizard of Footy, who've been battling all race long, but it's the Wizard who comes out on top. Footy taking home P3 for Mercedes. Sneaky Tom in P4. Very very good job from him and Piper Tech. Who's done an absolute worldie here. Absolutely brilliant job. 16% floor damage, 33% diffuser damage, and 5% side pod damage. P5. And still taking on P5. Brilliant also, Red job. Bull, Red Bull did great. P2, P4. Must be delighted with that. In P7. We can ask, uh, we can ask about him. Three. Racer, who had a puncture. Oh. Dan. With a 10 second time penalty, surely though that's going to get removed. Perhaps, I think he ran out of fuel as well. Dan, the other Dan is going to come home in P10. Not, Not rapid. rapid. 10 second penalty for corner cutting. What? Yeah, something's happening right now. Sygate, who's yeah, disconnected know. already. Sygate, who's disconnected, but. No, 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 he's just got no fuel. It. Oh, he's. Okay, yeah. Uh, I thought so. Like, do we have to wait for disconnected people now? No, 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 no. That wasn't the case last that year. That was not the case last year, sure. Definitely not. Be this year. It's just out of fuel, that's all. He's using ERS, although he has none. And let's see. Who do I have to invite? Jordy, the Wizard, and Footy. I'll just wait for the podium to end and then I'll invite them. That's... I don't know, why do you even go league racing if you... 
if you can't stand that you have to concede positions at some point. Like if you can't take a loss, don't go and do this because there's always going to be lunatics who can't drive. Surely though, Contest of Speed known for being a very clean league. <laughs> Tell that to EU4. <laughs> yeah, and then, then we get drivers like that coming in and destroying it for everyone, including himself. He's not going to be able to drive in here anymore. Uh, I would be surprised if he is. We don't want those kind of drivers in here. We want we want an entertaining race, a good race where actually we didn't have a single safety car this race to be honest, which I'm so surprised by because yeah. the traction on this game is really weird. Yeah. I'm just going to run you through the last of and course the finishing fight. order. Jordi, absolutely brilliant job. 12 seconds down into P2. The Wizard and P3, of course, right behind him is Footy. P4, Sneaky Tom and Hypertech with damage the whole race in P5. Two Spell Wizard in P6. Could have been a podium, but yeah. Race in P7, Red Mask in P8, Tichy in P9, and Dan grabbing the last point of today in P10. Dan, the other Dan, X427 in P11. And not rapid in P12, Sygate in P13, with Steve Stumpy real life, Cornish Mantis and NJM not finishing the race sadly. That's two out of three. Um, just gonna wait for who is it? Waiting for BMB Yuri. I don't know if he's yep. coming. Just message him. I'll send. I'll go in Discord. I don't know. I re I was really expecting a safety car with the new traction model, but people keeping it clean. We had three yesterday in U4. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not surprised if we look at the driving level from yesterday. And of course, I'm going to go to uh, the Williams. Well, you <coughs> can start interviews with third place, to be honest. Yeah, you want to take that? Oh, there there you is. go, beautiful. There we are. Or shall I? Your choice. Of course. I'm just going to move into the virtual showroom so we can look at the winning car. And there we have it. Beautiful Williams racing. Uh, hey, Williams, that's my team. Absolutely. So, uh, we're going to start with you, Footy. Battling with Wizard pretty much the whole race. Even spinning on, a, on an occasion there. What did you expect after that spin? Did you even expect to be on that podium? I mean, I knew I had good pace um, after me and Willick. Uh, collided on lap three. I just put my head down and just focused on the race. And um, yeah, got a podium, so I'll take it. Yeah, the pace was very good today, and, and definitely you fighting with both Wizard and uh, Real Life. Um, it was a very, very exciting battle. It was a very, very good battle and beautiful Sneaky, racing. Sneaky Tom was in there as well. Sneaky, Sneaky Tom, Tom, of course, was in there as well. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, so I'm going to say congratulations to your P3. Um, Footy, that's your first podium of the season, if I'm not wrong. Thanks, man. I also want to apologise to Pip Tech because I may have uh, gave him a little tap, um, and I can't find his name in Discord, so yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. Right, do you want to move on, Shane? Sure, second, the wizard. My Hello, Dutch guys. Driver from, yeah, there we go, my Dutch driver from U4. Um, so, second place and fourth place in the other Red Bulls. Well, you must be delighted with the results. So, how did your race go? Well, I couldn't have expected it, this because I just turned on the game for the first time like half an hour before the race started for the first time in a month. So, I wasn't expecting anything really. 
but I got a nice setup. I got it working. Uh, I got a shout out to Sneaky Tom for keeping the guys behind me for a long time. Just enough time to keep Foodie behind me because if it was one extra lap, then he would have got me for sure. Uh, but it was it was a very nice race, for sure. Yeah, we go well. Also, oh, I can't remember where you qualified. Uh, I qualified eight. 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 Yeah. Well, eight to second, not bad. <laughs> it was uh, it was amazing. It was more than I could uh, could think of. Yeah. Well, I do have a question for you. So, are you happy now that you're in EU three instead of EU four? Well, I was in EU3 last year as well, well so yeah, it was, so was uh, last season, like last season. So, but but yeah, it's it's way better in EU3 because there's way less chaos. That that's like the main reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's that's... it's more clean racing and more fun. So uh, I enjoy it very much. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. So. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, we do have BMB Yordi in uh, first place. I think that's another Dutch driver. I'm not Should sure. I? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I am. So yes, Dutch thought so. Right. Uh, of course, one. Jordi starting in P5. You had a very, very, very good start, uh, grabbing a few places here and there. Um, yeah. Winning with 12 seconds. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Really happy. My first win in uh, Cos. Yeah. And to be honest, I never drive uh, league, so my first win in uh, overall. So I'm uh, really happy. And at 12 seconds, yeah, I don't know what happens behind me, but everyone was crushing. So it's, uh, for me, it was good, but for the others, uh, maybe not. And um, well, yeah, of course, uh, 12 second lead, first victory. You did very well in qualifying, but why did you not get that pole position? What what was that caused by? Uh, was I was not so happy with the qualif uh, qualifying, to be honest. To be honest, because uh, on time trial uh, today I was uh, yeah uh, like 28-0, uh, but today I couldn't uh, get the get the time, so I wasn't that happy. Okay, P5 is okay, but I was not uh, that happy. Well, of course, P5 turned into P1. The points have grabbed in the race. 25 points for you. You're taking home. Congratulations. Thank you. And go enjoy it. Thanks. Right. I think that is just going to end off round two now in season 10. Yes. It, is ha it has been me, Marina Rat, and joined by Shane today. Hopefully also yep. next week. That's me. See you next week. Exactly. Uh, and next there week. There will be more. There will be more bar there will races tomorrow and tonight. Tonight in AM2. Starting tomorrow. at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> well, we'll Three. see you next week, though. Three Saudi Arabia. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, yeah. boys. See you later. There we go. We'll see you next week, guys. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next week for Saudi Arabia. And <laughs> enjoy oh, your night.